Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to block websites in the Google Chrome web browser. So this is a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So I do know that there are ways to block certain websites and I know there are tutorials that go out and modify your host file and I'm really against those kind of videos. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys a free workaround for that that's not going to be that intrusive and it's pretty easy for anybody to access and block different websites. And this is really good for kids who you don't want to be accessing certain websites. So we're going to start by opening up the Google Chrome web browser. And then we want to go up to the top right where there should be the settings icon which three vertical dots. And you want to left click on that. You want to left click on more tools right here. And then you want to left click on extensions on the left side. Now you want to left click on get more extensions at the bottom of the screen. Depending on how many extensions you already have installed you might have to scroll down. So now that we're on the Chrome Web Store, into the search bar, you want to type in block site, and then you want to hit enter. And the first option that comes up should say block site offered by yourblocksite.com. Stay focused and let block site automatically block websites of your choice, best for procrastination problem. You want to add to Chrome. You want to select add extension. And at this point, you can go up to the top icon here, and it says Block Site if you hover over it. You want to left click on it, and then if you click on this Block Site button, it'll take you back to the More Information page, back on the Chrome Web Store. So if you actually right click on the icon and then select Options, this will give you the options to add different sites to block here. So let's say we wanted to block Facebook.com. Just type in www.facebook.com. And if we add the page, and we go over and we try and access Facebook. We can see that the page has been blocked by this Chrome extension. So if we close out of here and we go back into our options or menu in here, we can see a list of block sites. If we wanted to ever delete one, we just click on this trash can icon. And this little clock here, if you actually left click on it, it will give you a different time frames if you wanted to block it between certain time intervals, which is nice. And you can also go underneath adult control on the left side here to enable adult filtering, which you don't actually have to input every manual link. So it can be definitely useful if you want to just filter out certain kinds of content. And underneath protection, if you wanted to set a password protection in order to prevent people from modifying this, I recommend that you set a password here. And if you wanted to go upgrade to the premium version, it makes it a little bit harder to uninstall. But most kids are probably not going to be able to get this far into it. And you also have to keep in mind you're getting a free program here and nothing is going to be able to block all web traffic. Kids will find a way if they really want to. But this should discourage most younger kids. So just want to put that out there. And if you check inside this oval here where it says enable block site, it'll disable the filter. And then just to turn it back on, you click on it again. So if for some reason you didn't have this icon up here, which if you look at it, it's really not that visible. But if you hover over it, it says block site. If you don't see anything up there and you want to go back at a later date and modify it, just go back into the settings menu we were on before. Go underneath help. Go underneath more tools. And then left click on extensions. And you can see the block site is in here. And then if you click on this options button, it'll open up the screen we were on before. So pretty straightforward. And I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.